this is Friday, uh, Thursday, April 7 to 016. Babesiosis in dogs in Singapore, they are not common. In fact, uh, in my practice, I seldom see them. But there are some telltale signs, some clues, which uh, will point you to the fact that the dog had babesiosis or likely to have now. First of all, of course, the history of ticks. Now, in many cases, the owner will say the dogs have never had ticks in their life. And uh, it takes only one tick to, to, to uh, infect the dog. And this tick may have fallen off after biting the dog and transmitting babesiosis. And uh, according to the literature, it doesn't need to have ticks uh, at the moment, the present moment. It may be some months ago. So they get they get infected and then the baby seer develops only recently, maybe due to stress. Now you can see this dog. The history of this dog was that it came here for vaccination somewhere before uh, somewhere in April one by the father. The father uh, works around here, Topayo, so this is his uh, son's dog, so he brought the dog here for vaccination. Then two weeks later, the dog didn't uh, want to eat and uh, was lethargic. So the father asked the son to bring the dog to, to me at Tuapaya Vest for treatment. But because the son felt that uh, the proximity is important, so he brought the dog to another vet near his uh, his uh, house. So that was on 23 of 23 of uh, March. So the vet there had given some tr some treatment, but uh, on 30th of March, the dog still wasn't wasn't uh, recovered fully recovered. So they they sent to the vet again. The same vet, the doctor son sent to the same vet again, and this time. The vet did a blood test, did a blood test, which shows that the dog had high total white cell count and low, low uh, red blood cell, low hemoglobin and low platelets. So there was there was total white cell count being high, leukocytosis with neutrophilia, but low, low red blood cells, low platelets and low hemoglobin. That was eight days ago, and uh, the, the vet prescribed doxycycline, iron tablets, and asked the owner to come back again two weeks from 30th, which means 14th of April. But uh, today being 7th of April, the father discovered that the dog was not eating and was lethargic and sleepy. So he brought the dog here, so I asked him that uh, whether the dog had ticks before. So he said no. The dog never had ticks because the, the reason I asked him was because the gums are very pale, as you can see there. You can see here. It was even much paler this morning. You can see it's it's, uh, it's really white. It's really white. Uh, but after some drips and glucose now, it's not as white as this morning. You see the other video. And it seems like some color now. So I got a blood smear and sent for checking and you can see that uh, put for the, you can see that uh, blood smear shows the red blood cells. So many are infested with babesia organisms. So can we turn it right there? I turn a bit. Now the, the resolution is not very good from the from the WhatsApp. But uh, I have a proper image later on, more sharp, sharper focus. But uh, you can see that uh, there's so many uh, red blood cells being uh, infested. Some of them has already ruptured. And uh, this, this blood smear proves that this dog had uh, babesiosis.
which is transmitted by the ticks, although he never had ticks before being staying in the apartment. So he could have got it from the somewhere outside, maybe for grooming at the grooming station or other vet vet area. Okay, so we so the evidence from the blood smear shows that the, the dog is having babesiosis, infection transmitted by tick bites. And uh, so now we are giving the drips. Now the problem with the drip is that the other vet has already given drips on both legs and the, the veins are hardened and uh, scarred. So, so we just managed to find a vein which, which uh, permits us to give some drips but not at a rate fast enough. And so I'm giving Hartman glucose plus Dufolite to, uh, to bring the dog back to health as far as, and, and also the Imazo injection, subcutaneous 0 0.3, 0 0.2 ml for this weight to kill the Babesia parasites. Without Imazo, this dog would, would not uh, be able to recover because the Babesia was continue multiplying and also for, for tick fever, this dog does not have fever at all. So it doesn't mean tick fever, the dog has fever. And uh, so now it's uh, April 7, 6 p.m. right? 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. ready. So we will wait till tomorrow. And if the dogs, if the Imazo works, Imazo was given at 3 p.m., then you will see this dog being more active and uh, the color, the color will come back to be more pink, pinker than now. Now it's less pale, less snow white than this morning, but uh, it is still white, yeah. Okay, can, we are, uh, can close already. So, Babesiosis in a Poodle, April 7, 2016, Topaya